have to search for it. Okay, okay well, I'm going to start talking. So whenever, whenever. Okay, guys, now this is what I want you to do, and we're going to talk a minute before I tell you all to be quiet. So what we're looking for here is you can't heal anyone else effectively without being able to heal yourself first. And you can do a temporary patch, but you can't do a, a real honest-to-goodness heal unless you know how to heal yourself first. One of the things that the New Age people have done very wrong is to do these blanket statements that this is the way you do things and this is the only way that you do things. And that is absolutely incorrect. That your way of healing somebody and yourself will be very unique to you. And what you, how you're going to find that is to try everything and piece together this bit and pieces of what works for you. Just like in your human life, you have strengths and weaknesses. Your energy, spiritual being, also has strengths and weaknesses. And you want to find and play up to those. Okay? Very important. So that's the reason why each one of you will do healing of yourself and others very, very differently. There are some people, and I'll use me for an example. I have very bad vision. I have figured out since then that the reason why I have bad vision and have always had bad vision is it's kind of like a blind person. If you can't see, your other traits become more powerful. Because I can't see, I've relied a great deal on my vibratorily my vibratory talents and not even knowing that I was doing that all of my life. So whenever I go to see something like uh, somebody's not feeling well, then I'm going to see it as vibration. But that is it. You don't have to see it in vibration. You may be a person that can feel it through your hands. You may be able to see it like people can see auras. You may be able to see that an area is is out of whack by a color. Do not listen to what the New Agers tell you about color either because color is also unique to you. That's all it is. You will know instinctually if that color is good for you or that person or if it's not good for you or that person. Don't talk about it. You don't need to. You don't need to talk about how you heal or how you see it. You just do it. And it's an understood thing. Most people are not going to ask you because they're not going to they're not going to know what to ask anyway. But for you personally, the trick here is to find out how you do it that's unique to you. When you get good at it, you're going to do it first with you. And you're going to do that. I, I heal myself every single day over and over and over again. Because what happens, you're not in a static place. You don't reach out and Lay hands on somebody and go, okay, you don't have diabetes anymore and the diabetes is gone. doesn't happen like that. You can cure it in the moment. But whatever caused whatever disease or pain to happen to begin with, unless you deal with the, the cause, it will just reoccur. The trick is to find the cause. And that's why you guys are the forerunners of the new way of healing people. Because what the New Agers did is they, everything moved slower in 3D. So they could bring somebody in online or in person and they could heal their vibrations and that person could go home and operate with those vibrations pretty much intact. It would take them about a week, two weeks, sometimes even a month to mess them up. But that's not true anymore because everything is moving way, way, way faster. That's the reason why the old way of healing will not work now, in that it's moving too fast. So now you, you will become the new healers, each and every one of you that showed up today. There was a call made out by me, and that call was a very specific call. And the only people that were going to be on this call, or who will ever see and hear this video, will be the healers of this new kind of healing. So if you didn't think that you were a healer before, you have now been been uh, let know that you are a healer. I think it was Dominique that left. 
there's a reason why she left is because she's not in that group. It doesn't make you better or worse than anyone else. It simply means that when you came here, this was a part of what you agreed to do. Okay? So since you're the new kind of healers, it becomes really important for you to figure out how you read the energies really, really well. Then you're going to correct them with yourself and others. You will also be able to do that when you're walking down the street. You'll also eventually be able to do that with everybody you meet walking down the street. And I, you will eventually be able to do it with your whole town, your whole city, Tara. Your whole city, your whole state. You can do the whole planet if you wish. If you get good enough. Because all of that is, is an illusion anyway. So what your goal is to do now is you're going to correct that energy and then you're going to try to go the next step which is to figure out why that person is creating that disharmony. Why there is that that mess up in their in their body. That's your new job. This is a lot trickier because you can't most of the time have this conversation with the person themselves. You're going to do a lot of small talk when you're dealing with other people. But you're going to read the vibration behind the words. And you're going to learn to not only talk to yourself, but your, your, your higher self. But you're going to have your higher self talking to their higher self. It sounds a lot scarier, a lot harder than it is. It's much easier than you think it's going to be. Most of it has to do with instinctually trusting yourself and the messages that you're getting. Because you're always right. Like I said, if you get the answer in instantly, it is always your higher self connected with higher selves that are giving you that information. Because your brain is not that fast. It can't accumulate data, make an assessment, and make a statement in a split second. It just can't do it. So anything that's that you get immediately guaranteed it's from the highest source all of you are protected massively none of you will be interfered with by any outside pigeon or gecko unless you call them in okay you've got to call them in pretty significantly at this point because there's been an agreement between all of your higher selves that that is not to happen now i'm going to be the middleman really more than anything else i'm going to talk to you and your higher selves for those of you who don't know you're talking to your higher selves selves yet even though all of you are and all of you do it daily you have a very good relationship with your higher selves even if you don't understand it yet you will soon enough okay does anybody have any questions dead silence <laughs> I'm glad to hear we won't be messaged anymore. I was worried about that. Yep, don't worry about it. Uh, I, well, Miss Rachel, that's the reason why I was so tough on you the other night is I knew this was that we were going to have this conversation, and you've got much bigger things to be doing right now than worrying about relationships. I don't want to dissuade anyone from having. Their relationships. I love Tommy to death. He's but he's an easy one. But I would say that most of you put this in place way before you came here, and it is one of your bigger reasons for being here. This is a lot more complicated because you're going to be dealing with you just coming out of amnesia. You're dealing with your physical bodies, but you did that on purpose so that you would have something to fix on yourself, so that you would be able to be a more effective and efficient healer for others. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that, whoa, so that's why I've had pain all the Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense? You've all had physical problems. You've all had emotional problems. You've had problems on every layer that a human can. You can't identify them yet, but you will with time. But you did that on purpose. All of the trauma and drama and pain that you've had up to this point led to this point. Just like all of mine led to New Year's Eve, yours led to this point. But this that was all to get you to this point. Now you've got the opportunity. Nobody has to do it. 
You're free to do whatever you wish at any time. But that is the reason why you've done what you've done. And all of it does make sense whenever you see it from the right perspective. Every single thing you've gone through will be easy for you to identify if you're authentic with yourself. If you're honest with yourself. G-Man, I'm talking to you too, by the way, dude. Uh, you're in on this. Um, he is the only long-term human, as far as I can tell, on the planet that's we decided they wanted to be in on doing this part, interestingly enough. He will do it completely different than you guys will, and it will be fascinating to watch. I know I'm having fun watching it. Eventually, you guys will too. But, um, yeah, let's see. What else can I tell you before? Really, do you guys have any questions before? You guys are, you guys are so much further along than you think you are. Really, all you have to do is say the word and say, okay, clear it out. I'm done. Stop. I want to do this. That's all you got to do. You guys are f way further along. None of you know that, but that's okay. You will get it eventually. The reason why you're f further along is because to do this process, you have to be wicked fast. You have to be wicked fast. These energies that are in people's bodies and your own will try to run from you. All of them have consciousness, the diseases, the pain, the whatever. They all have consciousness and they want to live. They want to live. They know that they believe that you're trying to kill them. So when you go after them to try to correct the problem, to get rid of the pain or the illness or, or the... PTSD or whatever it is you're going after, you will not probably have time to identify whether it's emotional or whether or not it's physical. You will see a disruption in the energy field. You will see, feel, know, however it is you translate it, you will know it. You do not have time to analyze it. All those days are gone. All you'll know is it's, it's not flowing the way it should. Your, what you've got to do is you've got to make friends with it instantly. You've got to find it and make friends with it instantly. Let it know immediately that it is a part of the whole. You don't want to kill it. It's not going anywhere. It's a part of who we are as a whole. It is a part of all that is. It is a part of the being that it's in, whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with, whatever patient you have. And it's not going anywhere. We're not trying to get rid of anything. In first place, you can't. In the second place, we would never want to. So what you're going to do is you're going to, tonight, you're going to try to get really, really still. And I want you to scan your body, however that feels right to you. If you're into video games or sci-fi and you want to see a, a machine running over you where you can see a disruption, then do that. If you want to use colors, then do that. You've got all the control on creating this however you'd like. You can make the colors whatever you want them. If you want to do it more consciously, if you want to just go with the flow and let your body tell you or your higher self tell you the best way of doing it, you can do that too. But this is going to take... Um, I'm going to do some talking, but the majority of this is going to be quiet, mostly because I'm going to be doing energy work with you guys, okay? So uh, if you don't want me in, now's the time to uh, leave because I won't have time to stop and, and say, oh, excuse me, and back out. So if you don't want to be a part of what I've described so far, no harm, no foul. Nobody's going to judge you at all. It is, uh, but if you do want to stay and play, that's where we are on this game, and that's the role that you've signed up for. So, are we excited? Oh, Storm's, Storm is, is fine. Storm is fine. Now, most moms that I know of, including myself, are entirely capable of completely ignoring their child and doing another thing at the same time. If you can do that mom split thing, you'll be fine. If you can't, 
then it won't be fine. You tell me.